These puppies may look happy and healthy now, but three weeks ago, they almost froze to death. Manitoba Rescue Group say these ones are lucky as thousands of dogs die every year from the extreme cold temperatures in the northern part of the province. And just a warning to some viewers, the content in this story is disturbing. <laughs> Finding a pup like this, ice covered and clinging to life, is an everyday reality in northern Manitoba. Some of the photos and video given to City News were so graphic, we weren't able to show them. Puppies are, are dying pretty much right after they're born. I mean, the mothers leave to go feed the puppies or they freeze to the ground. You know, with the harsh temperatures and the elements right now, they're not able to survive. Strays out there, there's no food. The dogs have been eating each other. Like, there's no resources out there for these animals right now. Lindsay Ann is with Care Rescue. Her group, along with two other local organizations, are planning to go to a Northern First Nation community at the end of January to save 100 dogs. This is one of the largest rescue missions in Manitoba history. Some of these communities don't have running water. The food is scarce out there for them. For people themselves, you know, but with the dogs, it's a health issue. It's a safety issue. I mean, dogs pack up. They they maul people. One major issue the rescue mission has run into is they have nowhere to house the 100 canines. Facilities across the province are packed full with no room for any animals. The winter is the hardest. Um, we are constantly being contacted about freezing dogs, starving dogs, freezing puppies, litters passing away. Um, and it's, it's so hard to continue getting this constant contact without being able to help these people. Rescue groups in BC, Alberta and Ontario have stepped up to help by offering to shelter the dogs and find them forever homes. The only issue is transporting the pups. They are asking people who are traveling by plane if they can add one to three kennels to their flight. The rescue will take care of everything including the cost. All the passenger has to do is be present when checking the animals in. Lindsay says transferring canines by vehicle is another option option too. Even a transport chain, you know, like having somebody drive from here to Kenora, Kenora to Dryden. Like, yes, the dogs need to be watered, they need to be fed, they need to be let out, you know, so it, it is a big commitment from whoever is going to be driving the dogs. But um, as of right now, that's our only option to save them. For people that are interested in helping transport the northern dogs to one of the provinces, you can visit carerescue.com or go to Earth Dog Terrier Rescue of Manitoba on Facebook. From the Bark Lodge in Winnipeg, Sherolta Saskew, City News.